In the final lecture of this section, let's learn how we can retrieve form data from the reactive form and also how to reset a form after the form is submitted. So in this reactive form, if we go ahead and if we enter some data in each of the form controls, and now if I go ahead and if I submit this form, you'll see that this form group object has been logged here. And in this form group object, we have this value property. And in this value property, for each of these form controls, a property has been created. And to that property, the value which we have entered in each of these form controls has been assigned. For example, in the first name, we have entered John. So here also you can see to this first name property, John is assigned. In the same way, in the email, we have entered this email address. So that same email address has been assigned to this email property. And if I expand this address property here, in there, we have other properties like city, country, postal, region, and street. So whatever value we have entered in the address form controls, like in the street address, country, city, region, and postal code, those values have been assigned to these properties. So if we want to read the value of all the form controls of this reactive form, we can make use of this value property of this form group. So let's go to VS Code. And when the form is submitted, we want to read the value of each of the form controls. So let's go to the submit method. So here we have the on form submitted method. There we are logging the reactive form object, this form group. But instead of logging this form group, what we want is we want to read its value property and we want to log it in the console. So here we will simply say this dot reactive form dot value and it will return us the value object of that reactive form form group. If I save the changes now, if you go to the web page and again, if we enter some details in these fields, and when I click on the submit button, you will notice that an object has been logged here. And in that object, we have the address property. In that address property, we have city, country, postal, region, and street property. We have this date of birth property, email, experience, first name, gender, last name, skills, and username property. So when we are logging the value object of the form group, it is logging this object. And we can make use of this object to read the value of each of these form controls using its form control name. So now what we want is, currently we are entering the details, but we are not showing these details which the user has entered in the web page. So after this form, we want to show the details which the user has entered in this form. For that, let's go back to VS Code. Let's go to appcomponent.html and after this form, we are going to write some HTML to display the details which the user has entered in the form. And in order to save some time, I have already written that HTML. So let me grab it from here and let's paste it here. Now, currently we have these values hard coded. So this email is hard coded. This username is hard coded. This date of birth is hard coded. But what we want is we want to set these values from the form data which the user has entered in the form. So in the app component.ts, we are going to create a property. Let's call it maybe form data. It is going to be an object of type any. And initially, let's assign it with an empty object. So the object with no properties. And once the submit button is clicked, we want to assign this property, this form data property with the value object of the form group. So here we will say this dot form data equals this dot reactive form dot value. And it is going to return us the value object. And we are assigning this value object to this form data. Now we can make use of this form data property in the HTML. So here we want to show the user full name. So here we want to show the user first name and last name. So here we will use string interpolation syntax and there we will say form data and in this form data we will have a first name property. In the same way, in this form data we will also have a last name property. So let's add a space and after that on this form data let's also access the last name property. Then here we want to display the email. So in the form data we are also going to have the email property. Then here we want to display the username. So in the form data object, we will have a property username. 
then here we want to display the date of birth so from the form data we are going to access its dob property and it will return us the date of birth which the user has selected in the form then here we want to show the country so we will access the country property on that form data here we want to show city so we will access the city property on that form data and remember that this form data it is going to return us the value object and this country property it is present in the address property of that value object right so here we cannot access this country property directly so if i go to app component.ts there the structure of the value object will be similar to this object which we are passing to this form group and in that structure we don't have a country property we have this address property and in that address property we have this country city region and postal code property and the street property so we cannot access this country property directly we need to access it on the address property so here we will say form data dot address dot country and here also we will say form data dot address dot city then here we want to show the region so again that region is present inside this address property in the address property we have a property called region and in the same way here we want to show the postal code so again in the address property we have the postal property with this let's save the changes let's go to the web page and currently we'll see there is no data displayed here but let's go ahead and let's enter some data and here it says cannot read property of undefined that's because initially when this page loads this form data here it is an empty object it does not have an address property right but here in the html we are trying to access this country property on that address property but initially when the page loads there is no address property in this form data so this expression here it is going to return undefined and on that undefined we are trying to access the country property so initially when the page loads what we will do is here we will use the optional chaining operator so if this expression returns undefined then we will not try to access the country property only if this address property returns something then only we will try to access this country property okay so here let's use that optional chaining operator let's save the changes let's go back to the web page and now there is no error we don't see any data here now let's go ahead and let's enter some data in these fields and let's clear the console here and let's scroll down and let's click on this submit button and now you will notice that that data is being displayed here now in this avatar image also we want to show the first letter from the first name and the first letter from the last name so let's also do that and doing that is very simple so here we are displaying the avatar name so here first we want to get the first letter from the first name for that we can say form data dot first name and on that i'm going to use the slice method and to this slice method we need to pass two arguments so the first argument will be the starting index from where we want to extract the characters so we want to extract the characters from index 0 because we want to extract the first character from the first name and we want to extract only one character so the second argument will be one so this will return us the first character from the first name in the same way we also want to extract the first character from the last name so here on the form data we will access the last name and on that we are using the slice method to extract its first character all right so this is how you can extract the first character from the first name and last name and those two characters will be displayed in this avatar so currently you see since we have not entered any data nothing is being displayed here and again we have this error because initially when the page loads this form data will be an empty object there will not be any first name property there so again here also let's use optional chaining operator let's save the changes again let's go back to the web page let's fill the required fields and now let's go ahead and let's submit this form so let me first clear the console let's submit the form and now you will see all the data which we have entered in this form and you'll also see the first character from the first name and the first character from the last name so this is how we can read form data from a reactive form
we can read form data using the value property of that form group object like we are doing here now what we also want is when the form is submitted after that we want to reset this form so we want to make all these form controls go to its previous state and all these form controls should be empty doing that is again very simple we need to use the reset method on the form group so again we, here we can say this dot reactive form and on that we can call the reset method and it will simply reset the form and when i say it will reset the form it will make all the form controls empty and it is also going to set the state of each form controls to the initial state so again let's go ahead and let's enter some details in this form controls let me clear the console let's scroll down and now you will notice that as soon as i submit the form the state of each of these form controls will change so for example let's see the current state of this first name form control so here we have our form in this form here we have this columns and in this columns we have this first name form control so currently on this first name form control this ng dirty ng valid and ng touched css class has been added so this is the current state of this first name form control now as soon as i submit this form the details have been displayed here and you will notice that all these form controls have become empty and you will also see that on the first name form control so here we have that input element this first name input element there you will notice that the state has also changed so now it has this state ng untouched ng pristine and ng invalid so this is the initial state of this form control when this form gets rendered for the first time and same will be true for all other form controls so this reset method this not only sets each form control to empty but it also resets the state of each form control and hence the form group now you'll also notice that when we have reset the form there is no default gender selected and there is no default country selected but what we want is even if the form is reset it should have a default value of gender as male and the default value for country as india so to this reset method we can again pass an object and that object structure must match the object structure which we are passing to this form group okay so this structure and then we can set default value for some of the properties for example let me copy each property from here and let's pass it to the reset method here and there for all the properties we want to set its value to null so let me quickly do that okay to this reset method we are passing an object and the structure of that object must match the structure of the object which we are passing to the reactive form group and there when the form is getting reset we are setting the initial value of each of the form controls to null like we were doing when we were creating this form so that time also for each of these form controls we have set its initial value to null so the same thing we are doing here as well but here we also want to set a default value for gender and the default value for gender we want to set it to male in the same way we also want to set a default value for country as india let's save the changes let's go back to the web page okay now let me go ahead and let me again enter some data in this form and let me go ahead and let me submit this form so as soon as i submit the form you can see the details which we have entered in the form and the form is also reset and when the form is reset now you can see there is a default value for gender which is male and a default value for country which is india rest other form controls are empty now so using this reset method you can also set a default value for some of the fields like we are doing here for gender and country all right so this is all about reactive forms in angular in this section we learned about reactive forms in great detail we learned how to create a reactive form how to validate a reactive form how to retrieve value from a reactive form and many more things and i have covered most of the topics in this section with a real world example 
so that you can understand how we can use each feature of a reactive form in a real world project. If you have any questions related to reactive form, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.